Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Today in this video we are going to fix Google Chrome. If your Google Chrome is lagging, if it's not responding, if it's working very slow, the whole Google Chrome experience in Windows computer is very bad. I'll be sharing very simple steps which you need to follow and I'm very much confident that you will be able to fix this problem on your own. So let's get started. There could be two problems, either the Google Chrome have some issues or the computer have some issues. So we will be fixing both the problems. Make sure you watch the whole video. Open Google Chrome. At the top right corner, you click on three dots. And once you click on three dots, you need to click on settings. And here in settings, you just need to click on extensions. Remove any unwanted extension if you have in your computer because if there are too many extensions in the Google Chrome, it's like you are adding softwares to the Google Chrome. You have only those extensions which you require. If you do not know about it, then you can remove it. So I do not use slides, so I'll just remove it. And this is pretty much good because I don't have any unknown extension installed, but in your computer, in your Google Chrome, you might have many extensions. So make sure you remove it. Once this is done, we will again click on these three dots and go to settings. And so once you click on settings, at the left hand side you need to click on advanced. And here we need to go to system. And make sure this use hardware acceleration when available. This should be turned on. Once you check this, click on this restore settings to their original defaults. This will not remove any of your passwords, your favorites will remain same. So if you read it here, bookmarks, history and save password won't be affected. So just reset the settings and see if your Google Chrome is working or not, faster or not. If it's not, we will run some commands on the computer which you need to follow. I'll mention those commands in the description as well. So here, these are the commands, net sh winsock reset, and I'll tell you how you can run it. In the search bar, just type cmd and run as an administrator. Once you do that, it will ask you to say yes. And here we need to run this command, net sh space winsock space reset. Once you type it, hit enter, and it will reset the Winsock catalog, the network catalog for you. So basically it refreshes your network. Once this is done, we will move to the next step. So we'll be running five commands. So one is done, the second one is here. I'll mention these commands in the description so that you can copy and paste it like this and hit enter. So once this is done, you don't have to restart the computer. Just do all these commands one by one. And once we are done with all these five commands, I'll just copy it and paste it here. Now here we need to do the flush DNS. That's, that's the last command which we need to follow. And once this is done, just restart the computer and see if your Google Chrome is working or not. And if you still have issues, what you can do is you can clean the junk as well from your computer. So I'll tell you one way through which you can clean the junk in your computer. So for that, you just need to press Window and R key together on a keyboard and this will open up the Run window. You can also do a right click at the Start icon and you can click on Run. Now here, we just need to type clean MGR and you just need to click on OK. Once you do it, a new window will appear like this, Disk Cleaner. And here you have all the junk location like temporary, direct X, delivery optimization, recycle bin. So make sure you check mark all of it like this. You can scroll it down and select the temporary files. So now we are going to remove all the cache temporary files and junk from the computer. It's a very clean computer. Still I have 700 MB junk. In your computer you might have 
you might have more than 20 GB or 10 GB of junk sitting on a computer and slowing down the machine. So once you check mark, just click on OK and this will remove all the bad files which you do not require will be removed. And once this is done, restart the computer and see the difference. And if you still have issues, there is one more step which we can do which is very effective. You just need to do is right click on the start icon and click on task manager. And here we need to go to startup tab. In here, just make sure whichever the applications you want at the startup when you boot up the computer, just turn it on and rest of um, the rest of the application should be disabled. So make sure you do not disable the graphics card or security or Intel anything. Just make sure dis you disable by just doing a right click with things which you do not need it. So let's say, just like I do not want Cortana or I do not want Zoom at the startup. So I'll just do a right click and I'll click on disable. Disabling these applications from the startup doesn't mean you will not be able to use it. You will be able to use it. It just, it will not be there at the startup. So let me know in the comment section, please, if it has worked for you. And if you have any concern, please type in the comment box and I'll surely help. And Hit the like and subscribe. I really need your support. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.